The next project in this training series will be to create a camera selector. And it can be done in a number of ways. When you pick a standard configuration from Scour, it's a quite complex thing because the camera selector involves a lot of stuff like tally and uh, routing triggers and selecting configs that are specific for the cameras that you choose and so on. So that is a pretty heavy thing. And what we do now is just a simple way to use a variable to pick the camera number and then assign that to the functions that we have on the joystick and presets and so on. So basically, we have created a layer camera selector that should host this. And this is why on this layer, I would like to um, create behaviors for this. Uh, let me just see. We will um, zoom out a little bit here in our project and then drag across this with shift held down and then right click create behaviors. And then we can confirm that we want to create behaviors for this on the camera selector layer over here. Let's just pick one of these at first. And also, now I want to cheat a little bit and then just use the pin layer function to just show the camera selector layer quickly here. So we can zoom in once again now that we have sort of established the context. And on the A1, um, on the A1 behavior for on the camera selector layer, I will now um, s uh, s no, actually I won't. I will go down on the training layer. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the little edit raw. So you didn't see that, did you? I I clicked that button, and that's good. A different day, okay. But what I wanted to do is to just click the layer and create a variable we call camera select. Okay, camera select. Now, uh, we have created the, the menu variable just recently. And this time, we'll make it a range instead. So we just need integer values from uh, 1 to 5. Uh, we don't care about the sensor value. Not important. It will always default to the first one in this case. So that's the variable we have right here. And we want to associate that variable with these behaviors up here. Let's just see our PVC fly again. Thank you. OK, so we'll pick the variable, camera select, submit. And uh, what I want to change uh, or use as a master behavior in this case would be the one called set value. Because I don't want to cycle. In this case, I just want to pick a value. And that value is the one that I type into this field. So it's going to be a one. And then I can also associate a label with this one. I would write camera one. That makes sense to me, right? So if we zoom in here, we can see it says camera select. And that's actually the, the name of the variable. So we could, one way we could do this would be to go here and just change the name to something we like more or may like more. So that would be the quick and easy way of doing it. And I think we'll just stick with that in this case. Um, just a word here in the material behind these training series, there is a different approach to creating this behavior. So I'm deviating a little bit from it and showing you something slightly different. But the main point of batch editing is going to remain the same. So in this case, I will now drag across these. And then I'll use this little editor here to copy some of these functions. First of all, the parameter, I would like the parameter here to be the same. I also want this one, the select set value uh, master behavior to be the same instead of the dummy one. So that's done now. I can uh, then choose title and so on. We will just skip that. But match value, match value, the value to match or to the value to use. That's what it means. That's the value we pick. We'll just use the plus one button on this one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's press done. And you'll see in the displays, that's exactly what we get, except there was a little bit of a difference here. Ah, OK. I did not get the title. Let's see if we can do the title. I'm not so sure we can. OK. So it's not everything we can put into this environment. So we'll just have to then go and write in camera 2 here, uh, camera 3. And you know, OK, I get adventurous from time to time. So or do I? Mm, no, let's just stick to the plan. Oh, ah, OK, now I kind of broke my idea to you guys. See, the thing is, instead of typing in the label here, which is what goes in right there, if I edit this field, I could, in front of this whole thing, I could write, I should be able to at least. Can I not, please? Oh, 
Okay. I type in cam, I paste in this one, and then what I basically get is the value for, and then I prefix it with this string. So you see these strings, the text lines, can be a combination of just text and then a dynamic value, in this case, this label value. Uh, I'm actually choosing the label value, which is sort of dangerous because that's the one coming from that field. So if I typed in cam4, then I get in trouble because now it inserts cam4. So actually what I really should do is to go here, click this guy, and let me see, uh, I want this property. Oh, I'm confused now, just shortly. I need to change this property that is associated with it. I don't know, it's not there, but then I will just go rogue on this one. Okay, guys, we have already seen the JSON editor. I am I'm pissed that I can't do this directly. So I'm just going to the JSON editor and remove the label tag here. So what I get now is behavior const match value. That will give me the actual value of that constant right there. See, those modifiers, the colon label that was there is documented in a, there's a link inside of um, our slides. And inside those links, there is an overview of the various modifiers you can use. Obviously, in the UI, it would be great to have it, but certain things are still in construction. Rome was not built on one day, if ever, finished. So we are still working on the UI of Reactor all the time. Now, uh, what I just showed you here is basically a, a pro tip that was about how could we have edited this uh, text line so that it would have the prefix cam and use the actual value of the constant, the, the just the number, and then not having to type in the label. What we did for cam4 is too much to do for every one of these. And the whole point would be to move this out into a master behavior. If we did so, then all we needed to do would be to type in the match value value and not the label for every one of them. But now you have seen a little bit advanced stuff behind the scenes. I think for the last one, I'll just type in the label cam5 and we're done.